Look, man, we all go through something in life. The question is, what you about to do with it? You my brother, so I trust you 100%. And for you, I'm gonna ride to the full extent. For this music, swear to God, my love is intense. Get to the guap, stay out the way, that shit make perfect sense. Cause you can't get a refund on the time that you spend. I've been sending for so long, I need my soul rinse. But I jumped over them hurdles, look how far I done went. What's meant to be, man, that's just something that you can't prevent. What's up, though? It's your boy Jay. Back again with another video on Ask You Fitness. You can ask me about fitness. For you. In this video, it's about perseverance. You know what I'm saying? We all go through something in life, man. We all go through something in life. We all have good times, we all have bad times. You gotta do something in this in each situation. Whether it's good, you still doing something. Whether it's bad, you still doing something. What are you doing? We talk about the things that's tough to get through. The stuff you have to dig for, the stuff you have to work for. What are you doing about that situation? What are you doing about people who are saying negative things about you? What are you doing about the situation you're in that you think you can't get out of? Are you sitting around and just thinking about it? Or are you sitting around thinking about what you want to do with it and you still sitting around? Or are you sitting around thinking about what you're going to do on it and then doing it? Which one is you? We all know that you have to push through. That, that's cliche. Everybody gonna tell you to push through. You might know to push through too, but you don't act on it. You have to act towards these things. You have to act towards these things. Because if you don't, you stand in the same situation, bro. You stand in the same situation. We gonna go back a little bit. Back to when I was 16, 17 years old. Back when I graduated high school, before I started college. Back when I was insecure about myself. Back when I didn't have no confidence. Back when I didn't know about self-improvement. None of that. We going back. So, so, so a lot of y'all may know that when I was in high school, I was a skinny, scrawny kid, 18 years old, 110 pounds, wet. 110 pounds wet. Tried out for four teams. Didn't make none of them. Except for one. The wrestling team. I only made the wrestling team because I was the smallest nigga on the team. The smallest one on the team, dog. Coach looked at me, said we get automatic dubs. We getting automatic dubs with you. You're the smallest one. When we went to practice, I went with people obviously above my, my weight range. And I ain't gonna lie, this shit hurt. <laughs> Cause when I got picked up and dumped by somebody who was 40 more pounds heavier than me, oh that shit hurt. But it was something I was fighting towards. Now don't get me wrong, I didn't learn self-improvement until I graduated high school. Cause I quit that. I didn't even go to one competition. I was like, what am I doing on a team that's just gonna get automatic dubs? I'm cheating myself. I don't feel like I'm a winner. But a lot of times you gotta go through losses to win. I'm gonna tell y'all that, man. I didn't even know it was self-improvement when I started going to the gym. It was just a matter that I wanted to see something greater within myself. I know that you wanna see you in a better situation than you in right now. But you have to act on this stuff. You have to act on it. You can't sit around and mope and complain and, and, and just think that something's gonna happen out the blue. You gotta put in the work. You have to put in the work. I'll never forget, man. It was that summer that I graduated. The summer before my first year of college. And I was in my room, I was watching Netflix and it was this, I forgot what movie it was, but it was this dude that just reminded me of me at the time. And it was a dude who was scrawny, got picked on a lot in high school, um, just didn't have no purpose in life, didn't know about self-improvement, didn't believe in himself. That's what it was. He didn't have no ambition, no drive, no drive or anything behind him. You know what I'm saying? And I saw that in myself. But then in the, later in the movie, the dude started to improve, he started hitting the gym, started getting his money up, started separating himself from the negative people. 
You know what I'm saying? He secluded himself. Then years later down the line, the same people who he grew up with in his hometown saw him, gave him respect, saw his hard work had paid off. At first, they didn't even know who the nigga was. And I looked at that movie, bro, and it hit, it, it hit deep. I felt it in my heart. I was like, yo, I want to be like that. Not so much of people looking back and being like, damn, look at him now, man. I remember when he was small. I remember when he was this and that. Not that. I wanted to do that for myself. I wanted to have a reaction for myself. I wanted to look back at the old me and see that I'm not that same dude. But see, it all starts with your mindset. It all starts with your mindset. I didn't even know these things, y'all. I didn't know these things until a year ago that I had changed my mindset before I started acting on things. See, when I saw that movie, I was like, I'm finna become that. I'ma be that. I was determined, bro. I was determined. Some nights it would bring me to tears, dog. It would bring me to tears on how bad I wanted it. And I'm still not at that level, but I just knew that I could become greater. And seeing that changed my mindset. And when it changed my mindset, it changed my lifestyle. It changed my body. It changed the way I act. It changed the way I talk. I walk. All that. How people treat me. You know what I'm saying? You got to have respect for yourself before other people give you respect. People can tell when you don't respect yourself, man. You don't put yourself first. And it's not called being selfish. It's called working on yourself. Because you can't put that energy into somebody else and expect improvements on yourself. You can't do that. You cannot. You can't do that. It just don't. It just don't work like that. It don't work like that. I even remember. I never forget, man. I will never forget. One day I walked into practice, um, conditioning, and um, everybody was in the on the court, right? And I walked on the court. I'm ready. I'm hyped up. I'm like, yo, <laughs> I'm ready to be on the team. Bro, the first thing that was said to me was, "Why are you here?" It wasn't the coach that was saying that, but it was the other teammates, my other teammates or whatever. Why are you here? You know how much you make a coach mad yesterday? Bro, I couldn't even make a layup, bro. Basketball won't for me. Neither was football. Neither was wrestling. But I just wanted to prove something to myself that I could I could do something great. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't find my purpose, but I'm just saying, like, I was, I was working for it. But I was down talk the whole time. I was down talk the whole time, bro. But I persevered. Even though I didn't make it, even though I left, even though I left, I, 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 I knew it was something out there for me. You know what I'm saying? And this ain't even a sport, but a lot of people don't know, I was in band. I was in band too, and I was a percussionist. I played the snare drum, played the cymbals, played the bass drum. I knew how to read music. I knew how to play too. But bro, I was so small, I could barely hold a bass drum on my shoulders. I lost a bass drum competition, marching band. I was in marching band. I, I lost a bass drum competition because I couldn't stand up straight because a 30 pound, 40 pound drum was on my shoulders. And that hurt me, bro. That's when I quit band. I was a quitter, dog. So you have to persevere through these things. I was a quitter. They did move me, they did move me from the bass drum to the cymbals. And a lot of y'all that was in band, y'all know that y'all have a uh, cymbal that's called 20s. I don't know if they're the biggest ones, but they, they're pretty big. You know what I'm saying? You got to rest them, you know, in the crease of your elbow or whatever. And you, you know, playing them drums. You sizzling it yourself. But the whole point is, I can barely hold those. They were like 35 pounds all together. I can barely hold those. They they kicked me off the cymbals. They put me on a cowbell. They put me on a cowbell. Where I had a drumstick and a bell. A cowbell. One of them bells they put on, um, on a cow's ear, dog. And I was just... Yo, I can't I can't explain like the feeling of just I don't know what it was. Even after that, I was still down talk. So we're gonna go from graduation into the summer and I started working out. Right? So that summer I started working out. I'll never forget. One of the first times I was in the gym, I told my so-called bros from high school, I was like, dog. <laughs> I just hit a 30 minute gym session, yo. And I felt great. I felt great. I was sore. I had never done something like that. You know, I had just started getting into fitness. And you know what was told to me? 
Bro, you went to the gym for 30 minutes. I go for three hours. People gonna down talk you no matter what level you on. I don't know why. I don't know what kind of kit they get out of it. I don't know. But when they see you working on yourself, even when they don't see you working on yourself, or they gonna talk bad about you. But it's up to you to make a decision. Are you gonna let that affect you? Or are you gonna kick that shit to the curb and go ahead and persevere and become you, the you that you want in the future? You get what I'm saying? That hurt me. I was a sensitive person back then, so that, that hurt me. You know what I'm saying? But I kept on persevering. I kept on putting that image in my head that I'm gonna gain muscle, my physique is gonna look like this. I'm gonna have this shit. I'm gonna have abs by this time. You know what I'm saying? So that motivated me to keep on going. I had no idea that I was persevering through things. Now, I already didn't feel great about myself at the point, so I was beating myself up. So what other people were saying would affect me, but I noticed that my own, my own opinion about me was affecting me more than what other people thought about me. And what they say don't, don't matter. They can say whatever. I don't care. I feel great about myself because I worked to get to this point. And I'm not where I want to be in life. But I'm going to keep on working towards it. And, and, and when other people say negative things, I don't care. I don't care. Because I know what I'm going to be in years to come. Don't get me wrong. I will take advice. And I will take constructive criticism. But I know when it's constructive criticism versus hating. You know what I'm saying? Even when I really got enthused, even when I really got excited and really passionate about uh, my fitness journey and sharing it online, I still had people doing some phony shit. But then that's when I started to realize that I got to start just worrying about me. Stop worrying about every, every other person that got an opinion. Maybe, maybe you want to start a YouTube. Maybe you want to start making fitness videos. Make it. Don't let nobody down talk you on things, man. When I first started recording, I didn't have enough money to buy a nice camera, so I started with my phone. Phones got nice cameras. Start recording on there. Learn how to speak in front of the camera. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can see in my beginning videos that I got a whole different persona in front of the camera than what I do now. That's because I got comfortable in front of the camera. I'm also stiff, I'm also nervous and stuff, but it all takes a process. It's a process. You wanna start a YouTube, you wanna start a fitness channel, start that shit. It's not gonna look like somebody who been doing it for 10 years. You know what I'm saying? They, they used to. They went through their process. Go through yours. It might not take you 10 years. It might take you two months. Who knows? I don't know when my time's coming, but I'm damn sure it's still working for it. Like it's tomorrow. So go ahead, do what you gotta do to get where you want. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we don't have time to, to, to waste time. Especially with people who waste your time on saying negative things. So go ahead, do what you got to do. But like I said, um, I had people down talk me when I started to make my um, my fitness videos. And I would ask people, I'm like, <laughs> are you trying to collab? Are you trying to do these certain exercises with me so, you know, we can share our experience with fitness? Bro, I can't tell you how many times I asked somebody that. And they wanted me to pay them to be in my video. I'm not even, I didn't even have a YouTube yet. I didn't have a YouTube yet. I barely had a hundred followers. And they here, sitting here asking me, how much you finna pay me? How much I finna pay you? And the person wasn't even a celebrity. They ain't no celebrity, they a college student like me. And so I didn't know how to receive that. I was like, dang, should I even make these? Because now I'm feeling like I gotta pay people to be in my videos. Nah, bro, you know what I did? I persevered through that situation. I stopped asking people and I started doing shit by myself. I started making videos by myself. If I ain't had nobody to record a camera, if I ain't had nobody to hold my camera and record, move around the gym with me, I'm buying a tripod. I'm fighting through every situation. There's no excuse for me not to do what I wanna do. I'ma make it happen regardless. That's one of the things I had to learn. Mindset, perseverance, because people will not only down talk you, but they will treat you like less than what you are. But hey, look, you gonna give me respect, or you don't even exist in my world. They don't see your ambition, they don't see your drive about it, until you start acting, you start putting those words into 
action. Stop speaking and just do it. One of my problems was in the past I was trying to make a perfect video. Videos to where I don't stutter. Videos to where I got the perfect lighting. All this stuff, man. Nah, forget that, bro. The crazy thing is I just learned that a month ago. I saw a video. Um, I think it was by, by this dude named Prince, Prince Donnell or something like that. But bro was just saying like, bro, you gonna miss your blessing waiting on the perfect timing. Work for what you gotta work for and your blessing will come. So go ahead, do what you gotta do, man, cause you don't have time to keep on taking your time on things. If I would've stopped working out because of all the negative things that happened in my life, it's a lot more and I'm, I'm finna share it. I'm finna share these moments um, in another video. But this is just a little short, a little short story, but if I would've stopped back then, I would've never made Ash Fitness. I would've never been wearing this hat. I would've never been invested in a camera for myself, in a tripod making videos on Instagram, inspiring people. When I started my fitness journey, I didn't think I was gonna motivate people. It was just me trying to improve myself. And then I started seeing like people, people, people look at me as a leader. So I'm a role model now. And then I saw that, I was like, dog, like I, 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 gotta, I gotta keep on pushing for it. I can't just work out in the gym and not share my story. So I'm finna share my story. Now I see people, yo, you inspire me, yo, I tried out this video, it works. You don't know what kind of impact you can have on other people's lives. So do what you gotta do. We all got a purpose in this life, but it's up to you to make that happen. You wanna do something? Do it. That's the end of the video, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Holla back at your boy. I'm out.